Ismael Maheta and Gabriel Mahetina Bonfim are two brothers already snapping necks and cashing checks in the UFC. Ismael is a 27-year-old lightweight with a record at 19 and 3. Gabriel is a 25-year-old welterweight who is 14 and 0. Oh. Both fight out of Cerrado MMA in Brasilia, Brazil, and both Bonfim bros are former boxers with extensive amateur and pro careers. In MMA, they bring a complete game to the table, utilizing their BJJ for 27 total finishes between them. Both won their UFC debuts and look like future contenders. Chronological order for these four fights. July 2021, Ismail Bonfim is headlining LFA's first event in Brazil. He's facing 10 and 1 Hangel Anaconda de Sa. The 26-year-old out of refit pro fighters in his fighting home, Rio de Janeiro, tonight. Early first quick counter overhand right for Ismael. Head movement ducking left to avoid the Dissa right. Two minutes later as opponent spins out of the kick catch, Bonfim catches them with the counter left hook. Seconds later more hooks from the left hand, then a stiff straight right after. Now round two, Ismail flies in with a knee. Next tries the big right, but opponent's punch actually blocks Bonfim's from connecting. Moments later, doubling up on left hooks, Ismail punches to the body, then head. At the end of this exchange, counter uppercut from the right is true. Minute and change later, counter right, then a counter left after ducking the jab. Presses on the gas pedal going after Desa behind that jab. Two minutes into round three, opponent almost runs right into Bonfim's body shot as he shoots a takedown. Ismail serves him a nice knee as they clinch. Then he turns Desa around using the underhook and feeds him another knee to ground him. Minute 40 later, elbows are stiff and they make opponent turn into an arm triangle. But ultimately, Ismail can't quite cinch it up. End of the fight is coming, but the Brazilian has some more groundage and poundage for Desa. Ismael Bonfim takes home a unanimous decision. Nine fight win streak for Maheta coming into this fight. Six for Desa. Opponent was the betting favorite coming in, but Ismail got the better of him standing with slick boxing and even grounded, reversing takedowns and troubling his opponent with BJJ. Just two nights later, the Bonfim family is back in the cage. 10 0 Gabriel this time is fighting for LFA's welterweight two round Grand Prix to crown a new champion. Tournament fave 8 0 Brenner Alberth. The pride of Minas Gerais is stepping up 15 pounds to 170 to battle Bonfim. But all eight wins are finishes. Two most recent fights ending both by RNC. Tournament semifinal three three minute rounds as Gabriel gets it going with the jab. Great misdirection by Bonfim. Seconds later, nice jab to the body. Moments later, Gabriel getting the better of the clinch with his double underhooks into a trip takedown. Albert with the whizzer, but Bonfim off balances him the other way and trips him down. Second frame, Gabriel catches him off guard with the straight right. Has opponent pinned along the fence to deliver a hot and ready combination, little Caesar. Third round, Bonfim jab starts a heavy combo. Right straight and left hook hurt him. He tracks him and trounces him across the cage before the huge jab and cross connect to end it all. Gabriel Bonfim slices and dices like it's Churrasco. Knockout in round three. Like his big brother last fight we watched, Bonfim was the underdog, but truly dominated in all facets. That boxing is slick and smart educated feints, footwork, and head movement. He's got it all going like a nice cold cut combo. Now in 2022, final fight for both men before Dana White's contender series comes a knockin'. Ismael is first into the cage facing 12-2-1 Andre Minero Augusto. The 5'7 lightweight missed weight for his first LFA bout. That's a great impression. Before this, he has won seven straight, including two choke submissions. Minute gone in the first, Maheta makes him pay for throwing a naked leg kick. Big bombs coming back. Augusto wants a change of pace, but Bonfim defends the takedown. Left's firing away, and on the end of this, a nice right hook. One minute 45 later, Ismail counter left uppercut to the body, then a left hook. Into round two, Ismail with a combo, nice hammer fist in the mix. 
Opponent is bloodied by Bonfim's striking work and telegraphs a takedown. Ismail wants that guillotine, but it's a bad decision because he could have defended that takedown easily and kept piecing him up on the feet. Seconds later, Bonfim gets up and breaks the clinch with a little back fist. Comes back nice feints into the knee to the body. Uppercut to left hook in case Augusto needed more. End of two, heavy counter overhand starts the combination. Nice knee to the guts, then a wheel kick misses on the end. Into the third now, Augusto getting desperate for a takedown. Bonfim stuffs opponent's head down and special delivers hammering elbows. End of the fight now, Augusto trying for that take, leaves his head open for a guillotine. Opponent pops his head out at the end, but the result is not in the balance. Ismail Bonfim dominates all three rounds to earn a unanimous decision win, taking back-to-back -back opponents the entire distance. But before that, he was on a seven-fight stoppage streak. Bonfim would go on to defeat Nediman Abasov on the Contender Series, a skilled but brawler-type fighter from the Caucasus. A flying knee knockout in the UFC debut has Maheta on the rise in 2023. Now Gabriel's final fight in LFA is for the welterweight title. 13-3-1 Eduardo Matrix Garvon stands across the cage. The 25-year-old out of Paraná, Brazil is chock full of juice after capturing a Brazilian regional belt. Last bout out. Start of the fight and Bonfim comes out in a fury. Jab gets going early, then a quick left hook. Moments later, Jab stuns opponent. He ain't ready for the right straight next. Huge shot gets Garvan to shell, and Gabriel takes advantage. Now Bonfim lights him up with more counter shots, quick hands, and mixing it all up well like a Caesar salad. Seconds gone, Jab just misses, but counter 1-2 is true. Then Gab catches a kick, takes the back, and wants the immediate choke. Cannot get that, but slick transition to the Darce, and taps him out from full guard. Gabriel Bonfim stays undefeated with a Darce choke early in round one. 12th victory puts a belt around his waist and earns a shot on Dana White's contender. Another first round choke of the Von Flew variety scored a UFC contract for him. And a 49 second mounted guillotine choke in his debut sends Mahetina soaring into the welterweight picture. <laughs> <laughs>